Hi there everyone, welcome to today's video all about mezzo-sopranos. And I am a soprano, but I know a little bit about mezzo-sopranos as well because actually when I was younger, my teacher had me study as a mezzo until my voice developed more. And so the biggest thing about mezzo, the word mezzo means half in Italian. It just means that a soprano voice might sing the really high notes and then the mezzo voice is slightly lower than that. Although most mezzos that I know have a really solid high C. The biggest difference is knowing where that transition spot is, that little passaggio point, that passageway in the voice where there's a little bit of tightness and the voice kind of shifts a little bit. And as you study vocal technique, you learn how to connect into that upper range down into that middle and lower range. Mezzo-sopranos also have a lovely, round, beautiful tone. Not to say sopranos don't, but typically the color of a mezzo-soprano is a little bit darker, a little bit um, warmer than may maybe a typical soprano. So today, I'd like to show you some exercises that will help you learn how to sing in that upper register, really shaping that modified vowel up through that passaggio point so that you can access those upper notes as is a mezzo-soprano. So we'll, we'll stick within that range. We're gonna start a little bit lower using the vowels E and U. By the way, this exercise is actually really great for all voice types, soprano, mezzo, contralto, tenor, baritone, bass, all of these voice types can use this exercise to help you transition into those upper notes. But I'm gonna particularly focus on the mezzo-soprano passaggio point to help really open up and find that sound. So starting on an E and U, it goes like this. And with any singing, of course, you want to give a good support. You want to be loose in your mouth and in your throat. And you want to connect the sound through the phrase as much as you can. Make it smooth and legato, connect it. So notice I'm going to keep my mouth really vertical. So instead of pulling the sound back and letting it kind of get caught in my throat, it creates kind of a ceiling on the sound. That's something that we don't want. You want to keep it more forward. space, modifying the vowel, never letting it going out to the side, but keeping it forward and narrow going up through that mezzo-soprano passaggio point. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have a wonderful voice day and mezzos, happy singing! 